trainer Emily here, and this is Congo, and welcome to Training Tip Tuesday. This week, as we continue our series on training tips for grooming, um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, nail trimming. Uh, most dogs need their nails trimmed pretty regularly. It, it depends a little bit on how much they, they walk and wear them down naturally, but um, it's something that every pet owner at some point has to face, whether they're going to try to learn how to do it themselves or have somebody else do it. When you're shopping for clippers, there's generally two basic types that you come across. One type, a type that we call the guillotine type, because it literally has a blade that slides over it like a guillotine. And this type can be very useful for someone who's, who's skilled and, and knows how far to cut and is very careful about it, but it's also very easy with this type to overcut and hurt your dog. The other type that is really common is the scissor type. So they kind of look like this. And these actually have a guard on them. So the guard prevents you from taking too much uh, toenail off. These are a little bit safer if this is your first time trimming a dog's nails or um, if you're just getting started on, on that. And also it's a good idea to have a file around as, as well. Um, it helps round the edges out so they're less likely to split with, after you do it. And getting your dog used to the nail trimmer is a really important thing, especially if they've had bad experiences with it in the past. So you wanna try and pair the nail trimmer with good things. Oh, what's that? That's so good. So I show him the nail trimmer, he sniffs it, and I give him treats. The boy. So there's basically three things. It's not just about seeing the nail trimmer, it's also the sound it makes and the sensation. And the sensation that you always do last. But sound, you can do very easily by taking either um, a stick or matchsticks or some people use toothpicks and making the noise. And you pair the noise with food. <laughs> I know they're flying off, aren't they? There you go. So the noise isn't scary. At this point, I do also want to point out it's important to make sure that you pick a sharp quality pair. Poor quality pairs of clippers or cheap clippers will crush more than they cut, and it's important to have a sharp pair. So next week we'll continue and actually talk about how to cut the dog's nails and where to stop and how to pick out um, a good angle for cutting. Thanks, see you next week.